Hey guys, Otto's in here, and welcome to the third part of my OLL tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be going over all the cases where you have two adjacent edges oriented and two adjacent edges misoriented. So, first case I'm going to show you is like this. So we've got a P shape, and we've got this little bar here, and it's chameleon on the right. And the alg for this case is like that. Show again, like this, like that. And then the mirror for that case is so like this. So it's a reflection of the P, and I hold it from this angle. We've got the chameleon thing still on the right. And the algorithm for this is like that, to show you again, just like this. Next case, this one's pretty easy, another P shape. So this time we have a line opposite of the P. And the algorithm for this case is just, it's just six moves, pretty easy. I'll have to remember. Oops. And it's pretty fast to do if you're not screwing it up like I am. Like that. And then the last P shape, like this, I hold it from this angle so we've got P in the back, looks kind of funky, and then line in the front. So it's not the one like before because instead of this oriented edge just being at the back, it's in the front. So I hold it like this and do. Something like that. I don't always use that finger trick. Sometimes, if I'm being a bit sloppy, I'll just do something like that. But ideally, I would try and do it like this, like that, just sort of fluidly. Yeah. Hang on, I'll get this close enough. Okay. <laughs> Next two cases. These are the W shapes. And for this one, so W, we've got a line like this opposite of one of the wings. So we've got oriented bar here, and then this one's sort of just skewed to the right. The algorithm for this is like that. And it's pretty fast. I like this OLL. Nice and finger tricky. Okay, and then just the mirror. Well, I don't quite do the mirror. And just to show you the difference, like, instead of it being like this, where there was the bar here and then sort of a skewed bar, it's at the front now. And I hold it from this angle. And then the algorithm I use is this. And then flick, rotate up, and do that. That. Hang on. What the hell? I'm not really warmed up, so I'm not exactly being fluid. Okay, next cases. These are the L shapes, because they look like an L. First one, L, like I said, I've said L like five times now. And we've got headlights on the left, and we've got like a chameleon thing going on on the right and a little misoriented bar in the front. The argument for this is just F, sexy move twice, F prime. And the way I sort of finger trick it is I'll do F and then the first Q with my middle. So, so instead of going like this, it's the same finger, it's like, like that. Yeah. And then the mirror. You could do F prime left sexy, but I think that's pretty crap. At least for me, because I don't like using my left hand too much, unless it's during F12, because doing massive rotations is stupid, but that's another thing. So for this OLL, I'll do R prime, U prime. Oh, first I'll show you how to recognize it, it's just the mirror, so R prime, U prime. And then I do sledgehammer twice, then U R. It's 
this. It's pretty nice. Okay, next to L cases. This time we have, it's the same thing, headlights on the left, chameleon on the right, except instead of the L being like this, it's mirrored. But the corner orientation is still the same. And you can sort of recognize it by having a line here and this sort of bar on the front here. And the ug for this is like that. It's pretty nice. And then the other L shape. So it's like the mirror. And the angle I hold it at is like this. So headlights left, chameleon on the right, except instead of the L being here, it's here. So instead of being here or here, now it's here. And the owl gives. Like that. It's pretty cool. <coughs> Last two L shapes. We have it like this. And this time it's just double headlights. So headlights here, headlights here. The alg is just like that. Again, so L like this. Pretty nice. And then the other case. So similar to before, except instead of the headlights being on the left and right, they're in the front and the back. So I hold it from this angle. And the alg I use is. And I'll do kind of a Edo. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's E I D O U 2 and an R. Like that. Like that. It's pretty cool. It's a fun thing trick. Next, we have the square shapes. And there's only two square shaped OLLs. And the way I hold them is from this angle, so you've got the square, and then diagonal from it is this little bar thing going on here. And the alg I use for this is like that. And then for the mirror case, so instead of the box being on the right, because that would leave this with the square, like in the same plane, I want to get this sort of thing, this bar diagonal from the box. And the alg I use for this is like that. And I find it faster, even though it's a left-handed version of it, I can do it faster. Uh, not that time. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay, now let's go on to these fish-shaped ones, where there's just an L thing, and then a corner oriented over here. And then for two of these, there's another corner oriented back there. Okay, so for this case, it's just fish thing, then these two lines here, and the alg I use is, it's pretty fast, I like it, show you again, it's good, and then the other fish shape, this one, so, it's like before except instead of having two bars you just got these funky things going on, so I put the square on the front, and what I do is, like that. And you could do it with just like right hand, but if you can do left handed U2s, it makes this alg so much nicer. Like that. So nice. And then the next two fish shapes. First one is like this. So we've got the fish fin going on in one corner. And then instead of having this one twisted correctly, it's just off. And the way I recognize it is there's a bu so there's these two sections here. One has a bar on the outside and one's just funky. And what I do is I bring the funky one to the, I don't know, where I'm doing the alg, like the right side. And I do this and rotate like that. Yeah, so again, pretty cool. I don't think I use this all the time, this sort of flick thing. Sometimes I'll just do that. And then the mirror case is this. So funky fish thing. And then it's 
So this line thing here was back there before, but now it's here, and this funky thing's in the back. So the algo I use for this is like that, then rotate the same way, and do that. And I think for that case, I actually do use the flick, like that. Yeah. So it's a, this shape's only got one more left, and it's actually one of my favourite OLLs. All the corners are oriented, and just two are flipped. I do this algorithm a few ways, but the way I'm going to be teaching is just the main one I use. So it's like, sort of a fat sexy move at the start, then M, and then just insert the pair. So yeah. Like that. It's pretty fast. So that's it for the two adjacent edges oriented OLLs. And my next video I'm going to be going over the line cases, so where there's a line. Thanks for watching and see you next time.